Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Tampa Honda, and I have that large and in charge SUV from this iconic Japanese brand. What is it? It's this vehicle right here. This is a 2025 Honda Pilot, but guess what? This is the Pilot Black Edition. But before we get at, into this murdered out three row midsize SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. So Honda, they really know how to build vehicles to make them dependable, to make them very versatile, and also good on the resale value. Now, what's fascinating is this is the largest vehicle that currently Honda sells in the United States, and it just came off a redesign, total redesign, giving it a little bit more muscular look rather than a rounded kind of jelly bean look. Now, the Pilot, really laid down some great groundwork for Honda, being that three-row versatile SUV. But now when we look at the midsize segment, there are a ton of different brands to choose from. So what I want to find out is, do you go with the Honda Pilot, or do you maybe go Mazda CX-90, or do you go Nissan Pathfinder? Let's go ahead, let's dive into our Black Edition and find out. Right off the bat, if you're going to do the Black Edition, I say go all the way. And remember, the Black Edition is available in other colors than just black. The Black Edition refers to all the sporty black accents. Now, at the front of the business, did such a great job with the redesign. And on this blacked out pilot, it really shows that sporty style to the headlight housing. You have LED headlights, LED turn signals and LED daytime running lamps. Working our way down, the black on black motif, everything matches nicely. You have functional corner air curtains, and all the way in the bottom on the flat black area, you do have LED fog lamps. Now, as we come across the front grill, you are gonna get a signature badge, black edition. What's fascinating is you do get a forward-facing camera with a washer, and you'll notice all of the gloss black accents. So, What's nice about this one being black on black, it gives it a cohesive design. If say you had a red one or a white one and it was a black edition, then all of these black touch points on the grill and the surrounding area around the headlight housing and stuff, those would be gloss black. So it really kind of matches super well. If you go with a white, it would have a nice kind of yin and yang appearance to it. Full functionality up top with that massive Flava Flav style Honda badge. And then on the lower portion, you have the honeycomb grill design, flat black, and this is functional as well, with just a little bit of a built-in lip. I would have liked to have seen something different done to the bottom portion with it being a black edition. Now, as we rise up, same great hood as the previous model year. I love the way it's got a slight bend to it as it flows into the flat portion and then you got nice body lines that fade away as you get towards the windshield and the A-pillar. Now as we come around the bend, if we got a black edition, of course you're going to have some massive gloss black wheels. So we have these multi-spoke wheels, 20-inch wheel, like the clean design, no machine aluminum on it. Tires are 255 on the width, 50 series sidewall, and that's all four corners, same size, plus we have all-wheel drive on this Honda Pilot. Now, my big zonk, you know what it's gonna be. What in the hell? Why do we have flat black around the opening? This should be all painted. Or make it gloss black. And then in that case, it would match nicely with our blacked out version. Even if you had a white one, it would be nicer to have the gloss black fender opening, I think, than the flat black. Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section. Wait until you hear the price. Trust me, you're going to want something different at this price point. Now, coming down the side, you do have your black painted mirror caps. I like the way they smoke out the turn singles. And then you'll notice up top, we have a gloss black raised roof rail for that black edition. And then you have flat black trim, both top and bottom. So no shiny bright stuff from the side of the vehicle. Color matched on the door handles. And then on the lower portion, you have a little bit more flat black. I'm okay with the flat black on the bottom. It's the fender openings which just kill me. 
Working towards the rear, love the way they work the rear quarter window. You got a nice flow into a blacked out rear spoiler. And then coming around the back end, they did such a great job with the lighting. Full LED turn signals, brake lights. There's our all wheel drive badge, nicely blacked out. The pilot lettering spelled out for you within the black. And then black edition is actually black on the back lift gate. Kind of weird how the front badge is shiny chrome. Let me know in the comment section if that deserves a zonk. I'm gonna say it does because it should be a cohesive mix. Now, as we drop down, here's the other zonk. Are you ready? Follow my hand. Fake exhaust on the driver's side with a chrome trim ring. First of all, this chrome trim ring should be black, gloss black. And why in the hell do we have a fake exhaust? On the other side, you have your functional outlet. Actually, you don't. They're both fake. So that, that to me, what in the hell is Honda thinking? I didn't even know they did that until I put my fingers in it. That's why you gotta be careful. When you put your fingers in the hole, you just don't know what you're gonna get sometimes. Fake exhaust and chrome trim rings, that's a double zonk. But let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. Flat black on the lower bumper. But let's pop the hood and talk power of this Pilot. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod, which is a zonk. I feel like at this level, we need to just have hood struts. The interesting thing is, is that in the mid-size segment, lots of different powertrains. The Mazda CX-90 has an inline six turbocharged engine. The Pathfinder has a naturally aspirated V6. Hell, the Grand Highlander and Highlander have turbocharged four cylinders. But what do we have in the Pilot? That tried and true updated 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6. So what do we have going on underneath that tasteful engine cover there? You're looking at, out of the power plant, 285 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission. A lot of the competition is made it actually, believe it or not, to a nine-speed or eight-speed automatic transmission. Zero to 60, in this midsize SUV is about seven seconds. Top speed is governed to 112 miles per hour. MPGs, 19 in the city, 25 on the highway, and the vehicle weighs right around six, uh, excuse me, six, 4,670 pounds. Now the good news is you're still gonna be able to do your towing and get 5,000 tow capacity out of this vehicle, which is great because remember, that's what a lot of the competition has, is around that 5,000 tow rating. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire it up, and hear what it sounds like out of the fake exhaust. All right, guys, we are inside this 2025 Honda Pilot Black Edition. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, this is one bad mamma jamma. I could see myself pulling up in the car lane at school in this thing, going and taking my kids to soccer practice, going to the ice hockey rink, the mall. This has a good look to it. I'm digging it. But am I going to like the price? Here's where I'm going to tell you to sit down, sit down, relax, because I'm about to drop it on you. MSRP for this black edition is $55,650. Quite a bit of money, but it seems that nothing is cheap anymore. But let's see what you get when you go Pilot Black Edition to the door panels. Love the soft touch material, and I'm really digging that black trim. It almost reminds me of like the Matrix. Where's Neo? That's what I would like to know. But I, I'm digging the trim, a little bit of silver, the black. You do get some red contrast stitching, which looks really good on that armrest. You do have the Honda trademark five finger Twinkie holder right in the center there and a bottle holder. You could put a Yeti can, you could put a Bigfoot can. Hell, you could put even a King Kong can in that bottle holder. Door pocket, it's a little on the tight side. Maybe just put two cheeseburgers and a large fry. 
Going from the door panel to the dash, we do have the Bose sound system, soft touch. You got another tray here. This is where you're gonna wanna double down on your burgers, because if you're only bringing two burgers, that's not gonna be enough. You could put another six cheeseburgers, extra pickle, just like the way you like it. Soft touch with the stitching. On the side here, I'm gonna have to zonk it because it's all hard plastic. Would have been nice to take this material with the stitching and bring it down to the center console. Another thing that makes me sad is that this has a nine inch infotainment system. It's funny because the Honda Accord top trims get a 12.3, the Pilot gets a nine inch. Still very easy to use. It's got all the movable apps and icons. You got your navigation, full touch screen, real volume knob, so that's really nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the 10 speed and put in reverse. Backup cameras, it's nice that you have a 360. It's nice that you have trajectory lines, but um, I'm gonna have to zonk it because the resolution is just terrible. I feel like I'm back in 1991 and they didn't even have backup cameras back then. So that should tell you something. You have the black start stop button with the bright red illumination. We do have three stages of ventilated seats, three stages of heated seats, dual climate control, love all the digital readouts. There's your controls for the rear AC. You got a place for a pack of candy cigarettes, USB-A, USB-C, and a 12 volt. Wireless charging, which I wish they would have doubled up. Would have been nice to have two wireless chargers, but you can put five Snickers on the right hand side. This guy right here is gonna control your 10 speed automatic. You got your drive modes, hill uh, descent control, two cup holders, and then you do have your Honda key fob. Works, looks great, remote start. Let me turn around, there you go. Nice soft material with the stitching, lift it up. You could easily put, I would say, two eight balls in there, two magic eight balls. And I'm telling you, that is the best way to answer questions on what you should do in your life. So if you're saying, hey, should I dump my girlfriend that I've been dating for 10 years? Ask the magic eight ball. Here's my question to you. If you have been dating your girlfriend for 10 years, why have you not taken it any further? Why have you not gotten engaged yet? Or maybe even married? And don't give me the BS that you're afraid of commitment because you have three kids with her. That seems like commitment to me. That's just me. Seats, the leather, the black edition embroidery. Love the way they brought the red stitching. There's even red that shows through the perforations. Full electric assist on the passenger. Full electric assist, of course, for the driver. And you have this nice power shade with a ginormous panoramic sunroof. So very nicely done. But why don't you come over here to the business end. I want to show you behind the black steering wheel in our Black Edition Pilot. Hi guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have two memory seat settings for the driver's seat. Easy to get to seat controls. Love the power seats. I'm six feet tall. I got plenty of room in here. If, it's, if you need more room, then you gotta step up to a full size, which remember, Honda does not sell a full size SUV. Steering wheel, love the black leather, the red contrast stitching. It is a heated steering wheel, a little bit of gloss black, flat black on the switch gear. You do have paddles to go up and down the 10 speed automatic. And then you do have a 10.25 inch digital gauge cluster. You can scroll through a cornucopia of different readouts and information. And then of course you get your different drive modes, sport, normal, econ, snow, trail, sand, and tow. So if you can't find a mode that's usable for you, I don't know what to tell you because that seems like a lot of modes. And then on top of that, you do get a HUD up, a HUD up. You should get, you, you also get a head up display. Sorry, the sun and the sweat is starting to get to me. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the mid row and see if this black edition has anything special for you. Back seat time. Now what's great about the back seat door panels, they have tons of storage for all the snacks and your drinks, just like the seats up front. And you get the red stitching and you get the matrix trim. Coming on in, leather all the way around, love all the red stitching, tons of pockets. You could put two tacos up here, maybe a gordita, and then down below, super deep pockets, easily get a 15 inch cookie cake in there, and you get a place for your phone. Or you could put a Twinkie in there, that's a nice little Twinkie pocket. Now coming into the command center, AC vents, three stages of heated seats, but the zonk is, where's my ventilated seats? 55 Gs, I want my passengers to be chilled, you do have 
your climate control buttons. We do also have, if I could open it, your home power source, two USB-Cs. I like the manual sunshades, seat slide, and I guarantee you they'll recline. Seats also recline, as you can see. And then watch this, you can sit three across or you have your captain's chair arrangement. Nice leather, you got a place for two big bites from 7-Eleven, two cup holders. And then if you wanna remove this, it's easily removable if you need to have like long pieces of lumber from Lowe's or Home Depot, or maybe you go to an old fashioned hardware place like they used to have. There was once upon a time, guess what? Home Depot didn't exist. I know that sounds crazy. But well, I'm gonna go ahead, let's get into the third row and see how your passengers are gonna enjoy this pilot. All right guys, third row time, and it's a little bit of a mixed bag. Uh, once you get in, uh, I'm not even close to the headliner. I do like the way I have my own AC vents, a USB-C, two large cup holders that's on both sides. The thing I don't like is like when you get in, I like the plastic for your kids' feet and your passengers' feet to not rip up the carpet, but I don't like these things, these supports for the sliding uh, mid-row seats, the frames, these get in the way to where what happens is if you have big feet, like this is a size 12, if you have big feet, that means you got big shoes and it's hard to kind of get your feet crammed in here. Now I do have the seat all the way back. So if this is a reclining seat and uh, I like that fact, but why don't we go ahead, feels pretty decent in here, but at least my knees are low and my head is far away and you're getting the red stitching. You're just not, this isn't leather. This is, this is like pleather. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but let's get into that cargo area and see what you could haul in the pilot. All right guys, time to get in the cargo area. Another thing I, I thought about it after sitting here is I'm also zonking the wiper cause that should be tucked underneath the rear spoiler and just have it swing down. But I guess cause it's all blacked out, it doesn't stick out that bad on this particular one. But you hit the electric assist, rises up the lift gate area and what you're gonna be greeted to, I actually left that third row up. So what you're gonna be greeted to is 18 cubic feet of space with that third row up. Fold the third row down, which I'm about to, will be 49 cubic feet of space. So let's just take a little gander of what we got going on back here. You have a Costco hot dog tray. So for a buck 50, you can still get your foot long hot dog. On the driver's side, you have a nice little nook here for a gallon of milk. I would say a gallon of chocolate milk. You do have a 12 volt. And then the other thing that I love about the Pilot is the storage underneath. You could get your bags of Funyuns, Lay's potato chips, your canisters of Pringles, all those different goodies, plus have two areas that are designated for Twinkies. What a way to go. Now to fold down the third row, it's so easy. Even a caveman could do it. Look at this. And they didn't even have cars back in caveman days. Third row area, there's the USB-Cs I was telling you about. There's the AC vents. I like the manual dropping rear third row. Of course, you could fold down that mid row to give you 87 cubic feet of space. I think the one thing that stands out to me that this can't do that the Pathfinder can do is that the Pathfinder, you could take full sheets of four by eight plywood and lay them down totally flat. In this vehicle, they're gonna be a little bit crooked because of the width that you have. But other than that, lots of usable space. If you're ready, I'm ready. We got the black edition. Let's see how it rolls. All right, guys, we are leaving Tampa Honda. We're in this 2025 Honda Pilot Black Edition. And right away, I do love the way everything is organized in here. Honda does such a great job at that. Easy to get to that nine inch infotainment system screen, even though it isn't as large as the one in, of course, the Honda Accord, but still a decent size. I really don't need big screens. I just feel like with the size of the dash, it would be nice to have the 12.3 inch uh, infotainment system screen. You got that 10.25 inch digital gauge cluster. And it's nice to be able to just take your thumbs and roll the wheels to scroll through the different readouts. Very seamless and it just, it's very intuitive. 
I like having the all-wheel drive graphic displayed, especially when we go on throttle because it will show how this is sending power to all four corners. When on, you know, on throttle, you could send up to 70% of the power to the rear wheels. So even though it's not rear wheel drive based, it still sends the majority of it to the rear wheels, which is nice when needed, of course. But navigating with this is so easy, even though it is a mid-sized three row SUV, those 20 inch wheels don't really cause a lot of extra road noise. And you're not getting a lot of wind noise in here, which is fantastic. But the way that they've tuned the suspension in the Pilot really gives a nice balance of sportiness, but also comfort. And then speaking of sportiness, you do have your different modes, which you put into sport mode. The instrumentation gets a little bit of a red hue to it. And this, uh, this allows you to have quicker steering response and quicker throttle response when you are behind the wheel. Plus it, it changes how the engine and the transmission behave with one another. But having the three row flexibility, lots of room for all your different passengers. Obviously in Florida, um, we have interesting drivers, of course, but uh, we're gonna come to a complete stop a little bit down the road here, just so we could get out of everybody's way. And then I want to, uh, I want to go on throttle with you real quick. So getting on the brakes here. Are you ready? Cause I'm ready. On oh, throttle, here we go. Look at the way it displays the power. Smooth shift from the 10 speed automatic. And like I said, I think the best part is how they tuned the suspension and the chassis setup on this thing to where it really gives you a nice, manageable, comfortable ride without feeling like a marshmallow. Brakes feel good. All of the touch points in here feels fantastic. So that's a big plus. And I like the way that they reworked the center console. I just feel like the competition is moving so quickly that some brands in this price segment already have two wireless chargers, not just one. So that's where I feel like Honda's playing a little bit of catch up. I mean, even the infotainment system, the software looks very dated. The maps look very dated compared to some of the competition. And we've already talked about the backup camera and how the resolution on that thing needs to be improved. But where Honda hits it out of the park is that naturally aspirated V6, nice linear torque delivery. Honda, of course, known for their great reliability and of course, for their, rear, their great resale value. But let's go ahead. Nobody's behind us right now. We're gonna go on throttle again. Are you ready? On throttle. So like I said, nice, smooth, linear torque delivery. The transmission being a 10 speed is great. And you do have paddles to go up and down the 10 speed if you need to manually. Now, if you're wondering, is the sound that you're hearing being pumped in through the Bose speakers? Yes, you are correct. There is some sound being pumped in through the Bose speakers. It's nothing too obnoxious. I, I really think it works well with the engine sound coming from underneath the hood. So that's that's the good news behind that. But getting to all the knobs and switch gear has a really nice feel to it. And it just feels solid. You know that it's, it's put together very, very well. The seats are super supportive and they look fantastic. It's just, there's some things that I, I would like to see changed on it to, to really bring it up to that 55,000 price point. But we're gonna go ahead and get back to Tampa Honda and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, another great day in so many ways, a hot day in so many ways here at Tampa Honda. Definitely gotta thank Sam and the rest of the crew getting us access to this black edition of 
the 2025 Honda Pilot. Let me know what you think. Are you going Black Edition over a CX-90 from Mazda? Are you going Black Edition over a Pathfinder from Nissan? Let me know in that comment section. But of course, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Razor Rise family. Need to give it up, Stephen Flood. Stephen Flood Photography, working that camera like a champ. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.